I'm at a beautiful stretch of beach that I like to visit moderately often. Got my car back. And so I'm back enjoying the beauty of the tropics again. There's just a couple of cool things on this beach I wanted to show you guys. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna take you around and share some of the bounty of the ocean. I found a spot where people have been shelling sea urchins and it gave me a thought why don't I bring these home and put them in my garden so I've got a bag here that I found at the beach and I am going to load it up with these and we'll crush them into the garden beds for slow release fertilizer got a nice bag full of crushed sea urchin shells something I noticed was that the shells this is actually quite heavy. I pulled a bunch of crushed ones up. People must have been shelling them there for a long time. But one thing I noticed was that there were actually roots coming up through the shells, which was pretty exciting. It means the trees are getting in there and eating it already. But I've got to cut back through the swamp here and get to the other part of the beach. There's one more thing that I want you to see back here that I noticed on the way in. There's an inland swamp area back here behind this section of the beach but let's see we're coming up on it now I've already eaten some of it and it's not bad it's actually a vegetable which is mentioned by Eric Tonsmeyer in his perennial vegetables book this is sea purslane look at that this has fleshy leaves on it which are edible like the garden weed relative uh, and it creeps along the ground and holds on to very poor soil low water this is actually growing in shade which is kind of amazing i'm gonna take some of these back and put them in my garden because i think they would be really good to feed to the chickens and all you have to do is have a little piece of it and it'll root just like sticking sweet potatoes in the ground so that right there is enough for me to start a big chunk and this patch that i've seen a few times just keeps getting bigger so it's crawling along and doing well I don't think it'll mind me taking a little bit this area right here really reminds me of my home state of Florida it's that muck and sand with little fiddler crabs and land crabs there are these crab holes all over the place crabs are kind of shy though you have to really sneak up on them from a ways away I get a little bit homesick going through the swamp so laugh at me if you will if you didn't grow up in florida i know you don't really think of getting homesick for the swamp unless maybe you're yoda this reminds me of florida here i love it great place and very peaceful See that fruit? And that fruit? One bite of those will kill you. Yeah, I am behind underneath the manganeel tree again, which I featured in a previous video, but I noticed that the manganeel apples are on the ground right now. They are very dangerous. You really want to know this tree if you are in Central America or the Caribbean or even in Florida because uh, this tree will mess you up. Every part of it is toxic and killer. This is all a big bank of seaweed. I came down here the other day with a big sack and brought home a great big sack of seaweed from my gardens. Seaweed is filled with the minerals of the ocean. It's a very good addition to compost piles and I've even mulched with it directly. Some people rinse it out first, some people do not. Um, most people rinse it out. I didn't on the tomatoes, but it didn't hurt them, so go figure, I don't know why. <laughs> but this is like awesome soil fertility right here. 
all of this seaweed. I wish I could just have it brought in a truck to my house. Every time I walk past these gigantic piles of driftwood, I think about digging a cone here in the sand and doing a biochar burn. I don't know if there's any rules on that sort of thing, but mm, considering I'm not in the US, I could probably totally get away with it. Start a fire, then quench the coals after an hour or two of piling on material. Just quench the coals up with some seawater and bring it home in bags. Look at all that. It's a renewable resource. There's more. Just one of those ideas. Check out what I just found. Look at that. You know what that is? That is a noni fruit. This is a noni tree right here on the edge. Pick a couple of those fruit and bring them home and eat them. Isn't that cool? Very medicinal, useful tree, but tastes disgusting. It's related to coffee. I did a uh, video on propagating it, but it can really take a lot of salt. Right here off of the shore, pretty cool. Another great thing about the beach is you can go swimming. Anyhow, I don't have anything else to show you, but if you have a beach near you, if you're fortunate enough to have that, look around and see what edible plants you can find, what sources of fertility, and what poisonous things you can use to destroy your enemies. Thanks for watching, and until next time, may your thumbs always be green. You might think I'm crazy, but here I am starting to throw the sea urchin shells in my garden.